Slingshot Kinetic Ropes are a double-braided nylon rope with military-grade certifications. Slingshot can stretch up to 30% upon load, and by having a rope that elongates, it will reduce the cringe-inducing jolts that can cause damage and injury. It is one of the most effective ways to transfer the energy of the recovery vehicle to the disabled one. When you use a chain or cable to extract a vehicle, the energy is transferred so rapidly it causes what we call a peak load, and that is typically when your piece of recovery gear will fail. When a chain breaks, it is on its way up. It reaches a peak load and will snap, causing it to continue to fly upward. And more times than not, it seems to fly through a window or a hood and can cause serious injury. So how does Slingshot work? A major misconception on kinetic gear is that you back up bumper to bumper and drive as fast as you can to yank the disabled vehicle out. Have you seen it done? Yes. Does it work? Hmm, sometimes. Do we recommend it? Definitely not. Here's the proper way to use our recovery gear. The first thing you want to do is obviously make sure you have the proper gear sized for the job. Once you have everything hooked up tight, you'll want to do a static pull, meaning pull the rope tight and try to remove the disabled vehicle without any running start. If this does not work, back up four feet and try a slight running pull. Once you feel the rope tighten up and the pulling vehicle starts to slow down, stop accelerating and hold your brakes. Let the tension of the rope transfer your energy to the disabled vehicle. Your recovery vehicle will more than likely slide back towards the disabled one. If that recovery doesn't work, try again at 8 feet and again at 16 feet. When doing this, never exceed 16 feet of a run and 16 miles per hour. After several attempts, if you still cannot retrieve the disabled vehicle, you can hook up another rope and pulling vehicle either parallel to the first recovery vehicle or in tandem to it, and extend your reach to try to get to higher and drier ground. When recovering any equipment, be sure to use common sense when pulling out disabled vehicles and never pull at a 90 degree angle, as this can result in rollovers. Also, when you pull in tandem, be sure to keep in mind that you now have twice the horsepower and traction to recover the disabled vehicle and a larger rope may be required. If a slingshot rope were to break and you're using it properly, it typically breaks once it's stretched out completely, meaning it will recoil towards what it's attached to. If you hook it up from one low point to another, it will follow its path and typically lay under the towing vehicle, causing no harm. Never hook up the rope from a low point to a high point, such as a draw bar of a tractor to the three-point hitch. This can cause serious injury if something were to let go or break. Always let the rope be in its natural state and do not try to alter its path. If used properly, it will stay low and recoil to the hookup point if it should let go or break. If you have any further questions, as always, feel free to contact us on our website www.slingshotrope.com or call us at 1-701-284-6100.